hello, hello, hello there. Today I'm going to be doing an open canvas tutorial on how to paint a hair. So where we last left off, we did the, the, the hair on a body. So I'm going to be posting a tutorial on how to do hair on a body, hit on the hair itself. Sorry if you're hearing a little bit of sound right now. I'm sorry if you're hearing a little bit of sound. It's, re it's really a rainy day out. The weather and environment is not really good. So let's get started. So what we're going to be doing is I'm selecting the right color. So I'm going to be painting a slight yellow tone that goes right about here. So I'm making the video very fast, less than 15 minutes or so, just for a, a, a person's a person's a person's request. One of my one of my um, one of the fan base's requests to make a short base. So what I'm going to be doing is painting yellow strokes, as you can see. So I'm painting yellow strokes, getting the different hair strokes uh, out there on the character itself. As you can see, so I'm doing it right at the bottom of the hair. So I can give more, like she has like a little bit of yellow streaks in the dye of her hair itself. And get the uh, y yellow streaks out there pretty much. And then I would get basically a tint of red and I would put, let's say, the layer to multiply and I would put, and I would place the red streaks on top of the actual hair, hair layer itself. So I'm getting the hair streaks out there getting it out very well. And getting the hair streaks out there on the hair itself. So I'm actually shading the hair streaks on, on the hair itself and getting it down packed. As you can see, I'm shading, getting the right strokes on the lines of the hair. So getting every single stroke on the hair right and all finished and getting it done. So I'm trying to get that all finished. Which this is the video that I'm already f finished recording. I'm just doing talking straight through to make it fast, to to, to speed up time to sh on how to how the way this is done. As you can see, I'm painted the red strokes on top of the yellow lines. It gives it kind of a little bit of a blend color itself.
and I've went on this layer and I and I made a new layer and clicked multiply and I clicked an even darker tone of red right here as you can see with my mouse arrow clicking over it and then I just go over it with the highlights of the layer itself And I went over with a darker red tone and click multiply and I add even darker strokes to the hair to, 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 to mimic what is so-called shadowing of the hair and add more darker tone to certain points of the hair itself. went to this layer I think right here and I clicked a hardness at 80 and then I went over these things this a red stroke And I started doing the highlights on the hair itself. So I started adding red highlights towards the hair itself to get it glowing up more often itself. Kind of like like kind of a pinkish reddish type white highlight to get the the hair m glowing properly. Okay, so we're just going to add the shading right here and 
asset and re-edit some of these things. And then I went, I clicked overlay on one of the layers and what I did is I duplicated so many times overlay and then I click normal on the fourth and I lowered the capacity to around 50 to get this really shiny look on the hair itself. So now the hair is really done. So now I'm going to take the, the, the yellow lines and click multiply or click trying to find the right blending layer. So I clicked it no normal and now I'm going to drop down the capacity to around 80. See which one fits. So I guess I'm almost I, I was happy with that I guess guess I'm ch testing out the different layers on there I guess see which one works well and I guess that's it I guess we're, we're already done that's what the hair the final look of the hair actually looks like so please comment please subscribe and please give me likes if you it would really support my website and please add me to your favorite if you really really like me a lot and like my videos and I'm doing this all for free so it's for free and I'm, t I'm trying to teach you in the future I might get into other things like maybe get into some game programming maybe getting to some g video game modeling or so and maybe get into Oops, that's my timer. Get into some video game programming and video game modeling. So I guess that just wraps about up. That's what it looks like. That's what the female character looks like. So stay tuned for... Stay tuned for part 14. Stay tuned for part 14. Stay tuned for, I think, basically the next chapter video of this. We're going to be more talking about more the background and what I did to get the background done. 
and it's going to be a very fast short overlay look of the background background drawing itself and getting the complete background done so stay tuned for the next video tutorial of this so I hope you like this tutorial so please give me likes and please subscribe and that's just about it I just wrap it about wrap it all up right now